Okay, so I just had to get this video out here real quick. It's a short little video, but I got home from work today and the UPS uh, guy had dropped off a package that I've been waiting for for only about three or four days really, but it's just kept me in suspense this whole time. And so I wanted to share it with you guys. Yes, I got one of Uncle Doug's famous amps. And uh, I'm gonna do the unboxing on this video and let you look at it up, uh, you know. So uh, yeah, I am just so excited about this. So sit back, watch the video. It's only about five minutes long and enjoy. All right, so I got this package in today. Going to do this unboxing. Uh, this this was sent to me from Uncle Doug, and uh, just want you guys to see what it is. If you don't know already, Uncle Doug has sold off a lot of his old vintage amplifiers, and uh, this is a one of them that he offered as a purchase on his Facebook page, and so I got it. And, uh, man, he, he really fucks this thing up here. All right, so we got a cardboard cap over the end of it. Nice. Wow, it's a box within a box within a box. There we go. So, got one box open. Uncle Doug knows how to pack things. So, that's for sure. All right. Let's turn to this next box here. Look at this. Front of amp. Top. Top. He wanted me to make sure that I knew which direction it was, I guess. That's, that's always good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The big reveal. Okay, so not only does he have a triple box, or then he's got bubble wrap on it. So let's get this thing out. Uh-oh. Uncle Doug, Uncle Doug, he said top right here, it's not the top Doug, it's the bottom, okay, so we're going to let this thing slide down, there we go, whoa, he did have the front part right though, looky here, oh, this is beautiful, this is, oh, just so beautiful. It's got the, this is probably the best specimen of a silver tone uh, 1484 that I have ever seen in my life. The, the control plate on it is perfect. The, the switches are perfect. All the knobs are there. I'll show you a picture of my old one that this one's going to replace here in a minute. I'll put it on camera. Let's turn it around to the back. Oh, look at this. So he's got the tubes wrapped separate. Yeah, you gotta really put some stuff down in here to uh, stabilize this uh, reverb tank here. But, oh, that's beautiful. Um, He's got the, I think he added a, yeah, he, he did a three prong, he put a three prong cord on it. So that's already done. I had to do that to my old one. My old one, when I got it was, was completely stock. Uh, original filter caps, everything. He changed the filter caps on this. Um, and put on a three prong, prong plug. I'm sure he took the, I'm sure he bypassed the, um, the switch and everything, the, the uh, ground ground switch right there. Yeah, I'm sure he bypassed that, but we'll check it out. I'll probably 
feature this in another video, but I just wanted to give a shout out to Uncle Doug and say thank you very much. Um, let me let me give you a, a a view of my old one here, real quick. This is the one that I have currently. That I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna sell this one. It's in pretty good shape, but it's not in it's not in the shape of the new one. And of course the cab the cab on this is the speakers and stuff are good, but you can see that it's got some tears in the Tolex and stuff. So, but yeah, this one's going to be a, a nice addition to this to this amp right here. So, like I said, thank you, Uncle Doug, and um, we'll look at this probably a little bit later in another video. Till then, goodbye.